Pheasant A15 here. I am registered for the Utah Concealed Carry class coming up on the 27th of April 2013. I'm preparing myself before by making sure I've read all the material that the course has provided ahead of time. Making sure that I have my photo ID uh, copied on an 8 and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I went ahead and just to be thorough, I have it my license copied in color and in black and white. And I know some people have suggested using a passport or something else without your address on it. However, uh, since I'm mailing it out and they're going to mail it back to me, they're going to know my address so I can get the uh, get the permit back. So I'm just going to use my driver's license. Uh, Alright, so I got that all set up and I'm just continuing to do my reading beforehand. So when they tell me a concept or a principle, I'm more familiar with it. For example, when it is uh, permissible and lawful to draw your weapon. Uh, rules of in, in engaging when a threat is against you, stuff like that. Uh, when is it lawful to defend yourself? Uh, pieces like that, when and where I can and cannot carry under conceal, under the Utah Concealed Carry uh, Permit. And uh, again, having to know full well that I'll have to refresh uh, when Illinois passes their, their stuff this summer. Uh, a couple of bills I have seen, and this is why I think I'm moving on this a little sooner. It's not only is there 30, 31 states out there, 32 states out there that the Utah Permit works on, which are all around my state. I think the closest one that doesn't is Kansas, and I don't see myself going there anytime soon. But every state around me does. But I, there's a couple proposals for the current one that for 180 days or six months after we pass whatever we're going to pass, that an out-of-state permit would count for Illinois, giving people six months or 180 days to get their Illinois thing, whether, whatever that is. Um, if it's simply just for our state or if it links in already with another one, great. But... Uh, that's the plan, that's what's headed for. I'm all registered, ready to go. Just continuing to prepare myself so when I'm in there, I have some good questions. So that's another thing I'm doing that I suggest for others whenever you're doing any kind of class. You're gonna be there with a professional who does this. The, the teacher I've looked up, I've researched him. He's actually a member of the Illinois State Rifle Association, the NRA, he's certified and he has all the credentials, uh, which would assume to be obvious since he's teaching the class. I like to check up on my guys anyway. He's very knowledgeable. He's served in many uh, armed roles in his life. So I look, very for, I look very much forward to this conversation with them during this class. But as I'm approaching the class date, I'm taking the time to write down questions that pop up in my mind or things that I want clarified. So that when I get there that day, I'm not like, Duh! information overload with all everything that he taught me and then I can't remember my previous questions. So I'm writing those questions down now so I can focus on what he's telling me during the class, focus on what I'm practicing in the class, and then when it's over or during appropriate times, I can go, hey, I had brought these questions, can I ask them now? and see if I can get some more clarity on that. Anyway, uh, Pheasant815, a uh, little quick snippet into Concealed Carry Journal. I'm not sure if this will be a free standalone video or attached to another one. Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy these. I hope you enjoy me going on my discovery into the Concealed Carry world. Have a great day.